Hey, you got big hands. Hey, you got big tools. Hey, you need big pouches. Let's talk about big pouches. Diamondback has an array of pouches on the large end for those guys who either need got big meaty paws or you're carrying a lot of stuff or you're carrying big stuff. So let's check it out. First two pouches we want to talk about are the Elias and the Wrangle. They make up the Denali set along with a six inch belt hammer holster and flat bar holster. These are some of our best selling uh, pouches and the Denali system along with the Artisan best selling systems. So what are, what's the deal with these pouches? Well they have both have four pockets and you can tell they really hang close against your body so that when you're walking around through studs, cords, swinging through the rafters, whatever, they're not going to be banging into things, not getting tangled up on things. That's one of the things people really like about these is the low profile this way while still having large capacity. All right, so what, what does the capacity look like? Speed square, everybody carries a speed square. Uh, so on the wrangle pouch, speed square goes in this nice pouch right back here against the, your hip. Um, got your chalk, fits well in the outside pocket. And this 35 foot tape measure will fit in, the, in this top pocket. Along with your speed square on this divider, I've got three pockets down in here for tool slots and this big meaty pocket in here. Uh, dimensions are on the website. I got a second pocket here, which not quite big enough for a full size speed square, but a mini square would fit in here. Or if you're carrying like a tube of uh, thing of glue, you're carrying that Altoids uh, box that's got all your bits in it, whatever you want, goes in this divider. And then I got these other three or other two big pockets here. I got my butterfly tool loop on the back. This is made to fit, hey, something like this torpedo. I got another slot here. And then up here on the front, I've got slots for, hey, got my knife, goes back in this back pocket here. Oh, knife goes in this back pocket here. And then of course I got another slot for pencils. Got another one under here where I can put a, uh, nail set something like that so that's what's going to go on my wrangle and of course i got these grommets up here what's that all about that's where you can hook your flat bar holster if you're wearing this non-dominant hammer holster if you're wearing this dominant this is designed really to be a non-dominant to go in pairing with the elias the elias is the wrangles twin couple differences though one you can see on the outside pocket i got this nice Velcro closure there. That way, if you got something in this pocket, you want to keep protected. You want to keep it from falling out. You can close it down. You don't want that in your way. Stick it in here. There's another strip of the soft loop material in there, so that'll hold that open. Still got access to that pocket. In the middle pocket, along with the divider that's in the wrangle, we've got our bit index. And so the bit index is really designed for drill bits, but if you're using it for uh, shorter bits, like for uh, impact driver type of thing, you can always take a little dowel rod or something and put down in these slots so that uh, your uh, shorter bits don't disappear down to the bottom. But it's plenty long enough for up to six inch uh, drill bits. And then I've got my same three tool slots here on the divider and I've got three more behind it. So in all six internal tool slots here, I can keep a lot of tool organization on my right side, my dominant side. We got a hammer loop here on the back. I can use this for my hammer. Of course, I can also attach my hammer holster with using these two grommets and the buckle on the back. We got a whole video on how to uh, attach those holsters. And of course, all Diamondback pouches hook on with this triple hook and loop system. We have a video also on how to attach pouches to a vest or to a belt. So uh, top pocket again holds your, uh, usually it's gonna hold either a tape or a chalk box here on the right side. So, Bam, Elias Wrangle. Now, how do these compare to our swoop scoop design pouches like the Ox and the Mule? A lot of people said, I love the Elias, I love the Wrangle, lots of space in there, love the low profile, but I want something more open. So we designed the Ox and the Mule. This is give you a sense of the difference here. The Ox is gonna be more open, it's gonna stay open. It's got this swoop down here at the bottom, keeps it nice and open. The Ox and the Mule form the Grande system, along with a six inch belt and a hammer holster. The Ox, we changed up the tape pocket on here, so it's got what we call the easy release. You can pop this up, take your tape out, 35 will fit in here real easy. Again, uh, this is a non-dominant side pouch, so your speed square is gonna go here in this slot against your hip. Big open pocket here for lots of fasteners 
And then we've got a second pocket in here with also has a divider. You can put a mini square in there or you can just use that for uh, other types of fasteners. Got a single loop here on the back. Again, this works great for a torpedo. And then around front, we got our system for a knife and then two either punches or pencils, markers, whatever you want on your non-dominant side. Hammer holster, flat bar, both compatible. What's its twin look like? Hey, the mule. Okay, so what's up with the mule? The mule is uh, the twin of the ox, except I've got, instead of a speed square divider on the inside, I've got one, two, three, four tool slots back here against your hip. And then I've got one, two, three tool slots around the outside. So again, dominant side, I'm gonna wanna have a lot of tool storage in here. Uh, this is actually a left side pocket, so if you're a lefty, hey, by the way, we make all of our pockets in both left side and right side configuration. This is a dominant side pouch, but it's made for the left side. The mule, uh, we have this drill bit index up here at the top. This one, unlike the one on the Elias, this one is made for shorter bits, so this one is perfect for your impact driver tips. Uh, then we've got on the back, I got a single tool loop again here on the back, and then on the front, I've got my pencil and marker spot, but I've also got this extra piece of webbing here. What's that all about? Hey, it's a utility sheath. Guess what? It clips right on here. So if I want to add a little bit of space onto my mule pouch, I can do that. I can also take this off and use this same spot to hang a power tool. Say I got a cordless tool, I got an impact drive or something, it's got one of those little hooky hookies on it. Bam, hooks right there, keeps it nice and convenient for me on my mule pouch. Now, people really like this style pouch, so we designed a couple more pouches of this style. First one up, the Nico. So the Nico we designed as a commercial electrician's pouch or any electrician who's carrying a lot of gear. We make a mini Nico if you're carrying a little bit less. Nico has, again, same situation here with a knife and two marker spots and a clip up here. Oh, hey, got a tape. And hanging that tape right there, bam. That goes well there on the front. Or I can put my, say I got one of these guys, a Pika marker on there. I can slip that in there so I can attach things here on the front of my Nico pouch. What else does the Nico offer? Well, of course I got a hammer loop on here. I can put my hammer in here, or of course I can attach a hammer holster. And if I put a hammer holster on here, I might carry something like a pair of snips in this extra loop here on the back. Now, I got one, two, three, four, five screwdriver slots around the front. Uh, I've also got this handy dandy tape loop. Why did we use a loop instead of a T? Because we took a pole and more people liked the loop than made the T. It was actually two to one, really surprised me. On the inside, I got one, two, three, four slots around the outside. Those would be great for your channel locks or um, side cutters. And then one, two, three, four against the hip area here. And so I got lots of areas, lots of space to put all those pliers and screwdrivers and all those tools that electricians love in here, plus your meter and plus everything else you could possibly need. This is a big pouch. But, hey, let's say you're in a confined space and you don't want a big pouch. Bam! You pull that loop right there and now I have pulled the pouch in a little bit. This is going to give you a little bit of a lower profile and it allows you to walk around in a space without getting run into things. And then you can open it back out if you need to. Keep the pouch, but also just opening out too big because you're going to have a lot of heavy stuff in here. Finally, one, two, three, four bit index across the top. You can put your bits in here so you can drive all those different screws and all those crazy screws that uh, you electricians use that I don't understand with the little square bits on them. Boom! Finally, it's the side-by-side. -side. After much uh, request for this over the years, a lot of people said, hey, I love the ox, I love the mule, but I wish it had a third pocket on it. Why can't you just put them side-by-side? -side? We said, well, hey, get a 722. You can hang a 722 pocket off the outside of your ox or mule, give you that extra pocket. But people said, I really want side-by-side. -side. So finally, I broke, I snapped. I said, okay, we'll make you a side-by-side -side pouch. Here's the side-by-side. -side. This will be released in September of 22. If it's already past September of 22, this is on the website. If you're watching this before September of 22, it ain't on the website yet. So what's it all about? Use the same easy tape release that we used on the Ox. We use the same big open pocket that's on the Ox and the Mule. Got a speed square divider in here. I got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, four, four, four. Uh, tool, slu tool slots around the outside of the pocket here. And now, as you can see, I've got two slingshot pockets on the outside. This one over here has a, has a little small divider, like you could put a, a 
pencil or something in, and then this one has a slightly larger for a tool over here, and then this front one, yeah, front, has the larger uh, single divider in it for something like a mini square. A lot of folks are using those these days. Uh, I got a single tool slot here on the on the single pencil pocket here on the on the front. Couldn't put our normal pencil and knife pocket on here because we just lost some real estate with the double pockets. But then on the back, we do still have a single tool loop where you can put something like your torpedo. Uh, another thing we're trying on this, this little stitch right here, um, this holds your uh, speed square a little more tightly. Uh, we're checking this, trying this new technique on the side by side. If it worked great, we can put it on some other pouches too. But we think this is going to hold your speed square really nice and snug in there. Goes in, goes out. And so that's the selection. Big pouches. We've got Elias Wrangle, classic Diamondback style. Then building off of the Ox Mule, which forms the Grande set. We uh, made the Nico for electricians and the side-by-side. Side-by-side is going to be great for commercial framers, form workers, anybody who needs three types of fasteners and really big pockets. So there's your big pouches.